Ready to fight? Go. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he landed the right hand there. There's no give on that leg kick. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night with that land. Under three minutes to go in round one. Green gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Oh! Big body kick land. Just over two minutes to go. Clipped him with the right hand there. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice. Powerful leg kick land. performance today his best performance to date in the biggest moment in the biggest moment you got to show up and that's exactly what he did tonight he used every bit of his skill to get the job done now we go inside the octagon Bruce Buffer with the official decision ladies and gentlemen referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes 56 seconds of the very first round Declaring the winner by radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight. Hey, now he's going to try to attack Kimura here. And this now he falls back into the finishing position. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities 
for advantage. If you're on the bottom, you gotta anticipate those movements, the moments. He oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nice punch. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. How fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Serkunov's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. we got to whip his hip into that kick. to go. Another takedown attempt, not there. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. In a very close round, a takedown like that might be the difference. All right, round two. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He was over one. He got an angle here to try to change the position. It's in there deep. There you go. Oh, he might have got it with a choke. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. That knee might have landed there. Good stick. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent to shoot, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Big shots being landed on both sides here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crotch. taking the oh. oh, my God. He switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him, and then took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. His leg is... Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Very good right hand. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate. He's very fast. And he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. All right, so he's got his head here looking to set up the guillotine choke now. He might get a finish here. Oh, countering it looks like with a bomb flu choke. Or maybe we should call it the OSP now, but trying to get out of the guillotine by submitting his opponent. Incredible. Brilliant submission defense there. 
All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. Very, very aware. It's still advantageous. Oh! Next round, guys. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, big hook. That'll leave a mark. Well, look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. <sighs> Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Single collar tie here. Oh, what a punch. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Close guard. Watch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. And they separate. Three minutes now to go in this one. Watch the strike. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got in on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Serkunov's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Big punch man over the top. I was going to follow this one. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. And they separate. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Silvino. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. Doing a great job of putting everything together. You don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine choke. Might have the neck here. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. Oh. And this might just be a matter of time. And to get the submission that late in the fight is most impressive because you're dealing with sweat and blood and fatigue and a lot of different elements that play out over a 15 or 25 minute fight. But his technique didn't suffer, right? A lot of fighters, when they get fatigued, maybe the technique suffers a little bit. Not the case with this fighter here tonight. Locked it in and forced his opponent out of the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did. Ready for the official decision Bruce Buffer has. It. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest. We're playing the winner by tap out due to a deal. Lex Oliveira. All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers thus far. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. 
They are so well-rounded. They have every skill. And that is going to be on display tonight in this team match. Uh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the champion. And they are exchanging leather early. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, strong punch there by Matthews. Bleeding from his cheek now. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have an awful idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kick, he'll just pop a jab up. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so good. Connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Single collar tie now. Nice loop and punch. Big knee to the body. Visibly limping here. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Oh, nice jab. Look at him chopping. Look at him chop, chopping. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he lands another strike. Whoa! That one is going to end the fight. <laughs> and he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Unable to connect with the ref. Big kick land. Oliveira gets up, but he looks dazed. He looks confused. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting the trap so that he can land that beautiful left hand. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round, DC. We'll show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over. But the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? Blocks the shot. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick-heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He has landed that strike. He's very effective with it. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch. Oh! Lose hurt. For our replay guys to work with in the truck, this was a clip. Bruce Buffer to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 56 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Jake the Count Kick Pin. You ready? You ready? Now it's Round good. one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well run as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Power. 
Trying to find a home for that right hand. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Duffy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. That knee, that knee hurt him. Knee to the body. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful legs. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Great punch. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Left hand is true, that will absolutely work. He throws it like a fist back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Oh! Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're oh! oh, he might be out. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? Let's go, guys. Fight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 42 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Tom Duffy. And Rothwell. Ready. All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go 
chase that finish down now. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Blades gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Just missed with the leg kick. Ooh. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, right in the mouth. Oh! Blades, his hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What? Oh, pinpoint accuracy on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect Takedown attempt of choice and works out for him. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 Damn. total strikes. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. to his opponent. Well, that'll quiet the storm shot blocked by the king of Kenosha, Ben Rothwell. Fantastic. The double leg land. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, second round underway. Rothwell gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh! Huge right hand! New person serves him up. Go get him. In this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 18 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Curtis Winston. in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Look at the turtles in that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Edge of your seat action as expected so far.
gets up, the question is for how long? Another head kick lands. One more here, DC, and we could be having a referee coming in waving his arms. Waving it off. It could be over in an instant if you do not block head kicks. What a phenomenal job by the offensive fighters setting it up and then throwing that head kick over the top. Oh. What a Tie. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh! Oh! And a knee. Oh, big left. Oh, big knee. One of those knees to the body. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Ravine's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. To play the winner by no time. No time, Pettis. All right, here we go, round one. Anthony Showtime, Pettis, Sony Ferguson. The last time they fought, my dress shirt was covered in blood. Your thoughts on the rematch tonight? This is going to be another one of those great fights. The first time was unbelievable. You saw the toughness of Anthony Pettis, but ultimately, it was the toughness and durability. Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. That one landed clean. Oh, big knee. Fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 15 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tony And Santiago Ponzinibbio. Ready. You ready to fight? 
Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to deploy their strategy the way that they need to. It's a Coming, it's blocked. Oh! Ponzinibbio's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Big kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go. Beautiful strike. Slips the punch. Oh, beautiful handiwork there from Santiago Ponzinibbio. One of the better boxing games in this UFC welterweight division. And really another amazing representative of the loaded American top team there in Coconut Creek, Florida. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Santiago Ponzinibbio. Nice strike. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Nice hook lands. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, that's a good right hand. Huge block there. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. Got to slow down for his opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slip on that. It's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and you need to start looking for finish. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel. And that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is, our UFC welterweight champion of the world. He's going to like the sound of that. Getting it done with style points by way of knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop this contest at 4 minutes, 35 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is underway. We'll see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of the weakness that we've seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the optimum. They are so well on They have every skill, and that is going to be on display tonight. Well, as a lot of people have said, he did not want to stand on a napkin and trade in the center of the octagon with this opponent. As such, clinches here early. Oh, oh nice. even Ari will right into a heel hook attempt, or so it looks. Man, this is flashy, but certainly effective here tonight. Let's see if he can close the show from here. Oh, nice. Work here, staying busy. And he is back up to his feet. 
He has some commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who become a bunch of size. This guy today is looking at focus in his opponent. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. That was a thudded leg kick. Oh, big shot land. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here in Nice leg kick land. Looks like his leg is hurting and limping a little bit. Oh! Two minutes to go. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high crotch. Oh, big slam takedown. That was beautiful. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big head kick. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Oh, just takes his Oh, massive slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. 45 seconds remain in the round. Such a fast leg kick. Big punch. Shot a double leg. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. They both stand up. Oh! Oh! Another shot right on the one. That is the most important shot in all of fighting. It is very difficult to recover from that. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. Listen, relax. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, he's attacking choke now. And he's out. Working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Well, looks as though his leg, you can even see him limping a little bit. Well, it's not due to a lack of effort. He continues to throw, but this is like double A striking. This is not a quick entry to get Man, in on a single. That was a great single. Oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or did no, I read my last run? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh! Nice punch lands over the top. Take him down. Cut. Take him down. Cut. Over and over. He's securing these takedowns. Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second. Oh. Oh. He's in trouble. He's 
hurt bad. Unorthodox, but proving to be effective here. Let's see if he can finish the fight. All right, that's the end of round number two. You ready? You ready? Fight. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Separation now. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. Just misses with the jump. Oh! Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. That'll do it! Unbelievable! Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. He couldn't have drawn it up much better than he executed here tonight. The UFC featherweight champion, your winner tonight by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 36 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC. To Ivasa. Are you ready? So far. Well, these guys have been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Ty Tuivasa gets stung by that leg kick. Punch over the top. Oh, nice elbow. Lands a knee to the body here in the clinch. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And they separate. Big hook. Big knee lands there. Leg kick. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up. Oh, man, look at that. Victor perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And just misses with that big right hand. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Ty Tuivas. Oh, nice job of going. Oh, I'm not sure it's going to be the best way. No, he's on beach right now. You see it from the first over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly way. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, he gets the takedown now, DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Strike 
to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by...